Hello again, my fellow Jetty users, and welcome back to my workshop for another of Harry's Jetty Clinic videos. And in this one, we are going to be looking at uh, using XBus to control a Jetty Mison Pro speed controller instead of using Servo to control it. Uer, what do I mean? Why would we want to do that and how do we do it? Well, let's take a little look here. I've just bought myself a Jetty Mison Pro 80, which has uh, the uh, battery eliminator circuit in it. And uh, it's connected for the throttle channel to channel one. Lovely. And it is an X bus device, which means all the telemetry data coming out here has to go into one of the two expander ports of my receiver. It cannot use the EXT port because that doesn't take XBUS. Now here's the problem. This is going into a 14 channel model. So I've got 10 channels on the receiver and I'm using an expander port to provide data to one of Digitech's lovely little uh, XBUS expanders, which gives me the additional four channels. And the original plan was I was going to use the Jetty uh, MUI electricity sensor to tell me about the current and whatnot going into the, the motor. And that would plug into the EXT port because the MUIs are not X bus, they're old fashioned plain EX telemetry. So get the MIS on, lovely. Uh, but it needs to plug into uh, an XBus expander port in order to use the, the full range of the telemetry and being able to program it through Device Explorer. Now there's the snag. It's taken up one of the servo sockets in order to use the XBus expander because I can't use that one because it's already in use. So now I'm down to 13 sockets and I need to drive 14 devices. Ah. So the meson straight away has given me a problem, but the meson includes the solution to it. <clears throat> you see, XBus is a two-way data system. So as well as telemetry coming down here into the receiver from the meson, it's getting all the channel data, all 16 or 24 channels, going back out to the meson. And the Mison software allows you to pick out one of those channels as the throttle channel to control it. Meaning, we can disconnect the actual throttle cable itself and we can re-plug it back in over here to the battery port. So the uh, XBus cable for telemetry gets the output from the back anyway to power it, but you're getting power through here as well. So why not plug it into the bat and you get power to both sides? Or in my case, I will be plugging it into the Digitech expander so that it gets power for its four servos there rather than everything coming through down one cable. Okay, so uh, you, you've probably used the concept of um, picking out individual uh, channels from a bus if you've used some other devices like a um, the Powerbox iGyro SRS uh, the Bavarian Demon Cortex Pro, where you can pick out individual channels from the data stream. And that's what the Mison is going to allow us to do. So I just have to reconfigure uh, my radio a little bit because at the moment throttle is coming out of channel one. And uh, if I'm going to use channel eight, or sorry, socket 8, not channel 8 anyway, as the expander, then whatever was on channel 8 can't come out of there anymore. And since I'm going to be freeing up this port, then in my radio uh, I will change whatever was on channel 8 to channel 1. And I need to put throttle somewhere then. I might as well just put it on channel 8. It could be on channel 24 or whatever. It doesn't need to come out of that particular uh, servo socket channel. As long as it's somewhere in the XBus data stream, we'll be able to pick it up. It's just that because I'm swapping these two around, then the throttle will coincidentally be on that channel. Inactivity alarm. Thank you, dear. 
Now, I could remap it simply within the receiver and say channel eight, 1 comes out of socket 8 and channel 8 comes out of socket 1, but such things lead to confusion in the future. We're doing things and servos don't work and you look inside um, the servo assignment in your transmitter and it doesn't match what's actually going on in the plane. So we'll just change the servo assignment. Come with me and let's see how this all works. Okay, so we go into here, servo assignment, there's throttle on one, elevator number two is on channel eight. Here we are. So what we'll do is change number one to elevator two. There we go. And we'll change number eight. It's been freed up for the throttle. There we go. Lovely. So that's how I just plug things in now. Uh, as I said, we, the throttle could have been anywhere up to channel 24, wouldn't matter. It's just coincidence it's coming out of the same port. So that's that bit solved. And now let's go in and have a look. Device Explorer, there's the Rex 10 receiver. There's the Digitech Expander, which we don't need to deal with at the moment. And here's the Mison Pro. Let's go into the Mison Pro, into General Settings. Come down here. X bus control. It's switched off. I'll just do that to bring it up to the middle of the thing. It is switched off at the moment, uh, so we want to switch it on. And there are two options to switch it on. Uh, you can have on automatic, in which case, uh, in order for it to find the throttle channel, you wiggle the throttle stick and it finds the correct channel. Or you can manually choose which channel it's coming in on. So let's go and have a little look at both. So we highlight that, say on, auto, okay. Come down here, edit it, uh, say apply the changes, wiggle the stick, and there it is, it's found it, throttle channel. If I move my throttle, there we go. If I move it too far, it'll tell me, oh, motor's running, which it isn't, because there isn't a motor connected to the output. And that's it. I can now unplug this one from here. That gives me a power lead in effect. Um, and so both the telemetry and the throttle channel are running out of just one port on here. So I've got all 14 sockets back for servos. One there for the throttle and the other 13 to run my servos. Wonderful. If you're a bit dubious about the auto, well, what else can you do? Let's come down here. We'll clear that out. Let's apply the changes. So that's gone. And come back to on manual. Oops. And that now it's asking you, well, which one is the throttle channel? Go in here and guess what? It lists everything for you. Come down. Throttle. Throttle one on channel eight. Say OK. There we go. And that's it. It's as simple as that. What a wonderful little device. So we'll say, uh, okay, to this lot, if I come back here, go back. Uh, just in case you're wondering, in a, a Mison Pro, as you can see, it's a true XBus device. So it turns up in Device Explorer and therefore is very easy to set. None of this trying to listen to beeps made by the motor and moving the throttle stick after it's counted three point three beeps and two long tones or whatever. Easy up as anything to set your brake modes, uh, limits, you know, tell it the batteries, types, cutoff voltages, what it's supposed to do when you get there, the motor configuration. You can reverse the rotation here, for instance, if you uh, can't easily get access to the three wires to swap them around, uh, set up your, your timing, number of poles, um, I thought number of poles was going to be very important. I thought there would be an automatic, um, but there's not. You have to tell it the number. Uh, so what happens if you don't know the number of poles? Because a lot of these you know, cheaper motors don't tell you things like that. Um, well, it doesn't matter for actually controlling the motor. It only matters for it counting the RPM. So if the RPM count is, is very wrong in the telemetry, just change the number of poles until it looks right. Okay. 
and then you've got the, the usual things it tells you the live telemetry and the telemetry min max and clearing it out etc so there we go a meson pro rather expensive but um my goodness it's made life easier uh, and why did i go for it rather than my original system well uh, i'm as i said i've got 14 devices being run here including the speed controller itself so 13 other servos and devices and the meson pro beck is a switching beck so it's capable of peaking at 15 amps which i thought is more than enough for running all the servos and turrets um, and it got rid of the bulk of the the mui as well so that's why i went for it and i'm rather impressed by it <laughs>